Hi, I'm Rhea with Art Furniture Woodwork. I have been flipping furniture since I was 16 and that was, well, many, many, many years ago. And I thought today I would share with you some of the tools that I believe will cut the job in half and having the right tools for the task at hand is half the battle. So we're gonna go through some of those tools, just a few that if you are just starting out or if you are in the middle of your journey of flipping furniture will possibly make your Christmas list this year. The most important and the very first tool that I reach for every single time that I come into my shop is this one. Lighting makes the difference. I work in a basement shop. I have a 12 inch by two foot window in my shop. So therefore I don't have a lot of light, but when you are looking at colors, when you are looking at scratches or anything that you are doing, whether you are a hairdresser, a makeup artist, a furniture flipper, a nail technician, lighting is key. Lighting is absolute must, especially if you're staging furniture and you're taking photos. You want those lights to be as bright as possible so that you can get the truest colors to show up on your pictures or your videos. Lighting does not have to be expensive and you don't need an electrician to come in and rewire your entire shop. I use these, they are T5 four foot lights. These can be hardwired. Mine are all hardwired, but that's because I have somebody that can do it. But they also just have a little plug in on the end and they can be plugged into any outlet. They also have extenders that will extend from this little plug right here. Basically you plug the extender into here and, ex and plug it into the next light and keep chaining them together. Um, kind of like Christmas lights, but much, much better. So if you are needing lights, rather than having to buy light kits on a tripod that you have to carry around or reposition or trip over or turn over, this might be something that you think about. When you're hanging them on the ceiling, they've got little clips. So you basically just drill a hole through the clip. It clips in just like this. Another one on the other end and they clip in and they're up. It's very, very simple. A pack of these runs approximately $50 on Amazon as of today. We are gonna leave affiliate links to everything that I mentioned in this video at the bottom of the video. Um, affiliate links give us a little bit of money, but don't cost you any extra. So if you want to help support the channel, please, anytime, you find, anytime that there's something that you want to use, we usually put an affiliate link in the bottom and it just helps us out a little bit and doesn't cost you any more to help support the channel. Now, another great stocking stuffer, or just, I really need this purchase. This is the absolute best $13 I have ever spent on a tool. It is my hide scraper, and I use them on just about every project that I do. It comes with multiple blades, and anybody who's watched the channel any length of time have seen these. Um, they come with different edges. So that one's rounded, like for rounded molding. That one's just flat. This one helps me to get into lots of little crevices. This one is small, rounded for moldings. But there's, I think, six different blades that come with it. They change out quite easily. And just pop up this. It brings up this little piece on the end. And then you take the blade off and you just pop the one on that you're going to be using next. It even helps you line it up because it's got a little hole in the top. And then you just pull your little handle back down and it locks it in. The rollers that I absolutely use, um, especially when I am doing primer 
or anything that I want very, very smooth, and I don't want roller marks in it, are these. I use Wiz Rollers, and I get mine in a package like this at Lowe's. I have not been able to find them at Home Depot. It is a four inch cabinet roller, and this makes such a difference when you are rolling paint. It will go on smooth every single time. It is a flock roller and they have a very, very short nap on them. Really short and very, very soft. And the way to get a very smooth finish every single time is don't put any pressure on that roller. Just let the roller do the work. Whenever I am between coats, I just put it in a Ziploc bag, roll the bag up and take the air out, stick it in the fridge and use them over and over again. And then you just wash them out. I put them on the back of my sink to dry out and I use them again and again. Now, while a roller works great, not every situation calls for a roller. Sometimes you need a brush. But if you watch a lot of furniture flipping videos, you will see these nice expensive brushes. And I'm here to tell you as a pro who does this for a living full time, you do not need or have to spend a lot of money on expensive brushes. You can buy these. This is a Worcester brush and you can flip furniture without the expensive brushes or rollers from the brand names. You can do it. Yeah, they're nice, but you don't have to have them. Um, I use these. You can pick them up pretty much in any DIY store for about $7 or you can buy them in bulk quantities of about 12 per box off of Amazon for $45 and that makes it just under $4 each. And when you are flipping furniture, you want to make the most profit out of each piece possible. And that is one way to do it is to cut down the cost of your consumables. Another thing, it doesn't matter whether you are spraying furniture or whether you are um, doing this in your carport, garage, whatever, you need a very good mask. This is a Trend Stealth mask. They have a NIOSH N100 replaceable filter. So basically you just turn the red tab and replace your filters this way. They have a really, good fit rubber seal, which actually seals to the face and therefore you're not breathing those chemicals in through the sides or where the nose doesn't quite fit when you're using those little disposable masks. The exhaust valve is on the bottom. So when you're wearing safety glasses or if you wear glasses, you're not having your glasses fog up whenever you're exhaling. This mask is just as good and just as effective as this mask, only I, I personally find this one more comfortable to wear. Alexander and his shop, he prefers to wear this one for long periods of time, but I personally prefer this one, but I highly recommend these masks. My absolute favorite and probably one of the most expensive things on this list. So if you're going to treat yourself or you're going to put something on your wish list, this would be the one I would put on. It is my Fuji sprayer and it is a Fuji Semi Pro 2 turbine sprayer. It is the most expensive tool in my shop, but has paid for itself already many times over. My sprayer lets me paint a piece 20 times quicker than with a roller or a brush. Therefore, my turnover is faster and I am not holding a piece in my shop. I'm making money on that piece, sending it out the door. Now, if you're interested in a sprayer or this sprayer or any other sprayer, I did make a video on sprayers and we will put the link to that video so that you can look at the pros and cons of some of the sprayers that I have used in the past. These are just a few 
we didn't want to make this video too long so these are just a few of the tools that I use every day and if you like this style of video please let us know in the comments and we will do more recommendations in the future um, let us know also what tools you found that have made it easier for you to do what you do hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving and we will see you after the Thanksgiving holiday <laughs>